Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Mike here. Um, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to uh, edit your config on MW3 using this uh, little tool called MW3 Configuration Utility. Um, I downloaded this off some like Steam forum or something. I guess some, some random dude made it and uh, decided to be nice and give it out to everyone. So yeah, this is what it is. Um, it's pretty nice because it allows you to edit your config without having uh, having to like actually go in there and know what the commands are and everything. You can just kind of edit it and it'll simplify it for you really. So um, as you can see, it recognizes my name somehow. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe that's I don't, I don't know how it knows my name, but it somehow does. Um, so yeah, these are the common settings. This is the first tab right here. Um, you can edit your ping bars um, for what color you want them. Like, if this was a, low, a bad connection, then it would be light blue, and then medium connection, it would be like dark blue or medium blue, and then dark blue. And then you can. It says that you can like set your number of ping bars and ping interval, but it doesn't. It doesn't really work. So only the colors do. But it's pretty nice. Um, then next, you can just set your resolution or not your resolution, but how you want it to be displayed like full screen window and no border or whatever. Um and then you got three little check boxes right here. Um you can make your uh config read only so like certain servers and stuff can't save things to your config. Um you can disable game in game music which is actually pretty nice. Um and then you can disable or enable allow downloading which is like having your file changed when you enter a hacked server so yeah um next tab is graphics i um this is actually really nice cuz there's some settings in here that you can't change uh actually in the game graphic settings so you have to do it in your config or do it in this so yeah it's pretty nice and it even gives you pictures on some things like like jump hunt and lago meter and stuff um so yeah, I disabled everything here, but it's just basically up to you like what you want to disable and stuff. And it on if you hover over each one of them, it gives you a little like general idea of what it is. So you can mess mess around with that and then down here you got chat lines. That's how many chat lines are available like, like one time to see uh dynamic lights uh how many you w would want, I guess. Uh, don't really mess with the size of the UAV map. Um, it, it'll mess it up, and it it doesn't really look nice. You can act, it changes the size, but it just really doesn't look nice because it has a little white border around it or something. Um, next, we got glass gravity that makes your glass like float up, or you can make it drop super quick or something if you break glass. Um, and then there's just some other stuff here like chat duration and other things what you like I found this is pretty helpful if um you're like making a, con a movie config which like I mean not like film tweaks but like you can uh, disable chat and disable HUD and stuff which is really helpful and just stuff that um stuff that like just uh, makes it look better in movies um and then right here you can just change some of your normal graphic settings I should have this on low. I keep everything on low just because I like it to be like pro mod and I can see people better when it's low textures. Uh and then there's some more stuff. Um these are your controls. You can just change those in the game. That's what I would recommend doing actually, but I mean if you want to change them here, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on this you can just it lets you edit your actual config file, like if there's anything in here that you can't edit from this from the GUI then you can edit here uh, and then lastly advanced you can save like which is this is really nice actually for movie configs and just swapping out configs because you can save a config here and then you can switch like you can open one and then it'll put it into your directory and it's just really nice it's a nice little manager for your configs and just in case like it wasn't in the right location already you can um this is file locations you can uh set it to the right location if it wasn't there uh 
and then all this just reset calming settings reset graphics reset controls everything else um, yeah so basically when you finish editing it you can just hit save right there control s and that's about it uh, it'll do everything in your config um, so it's a really nice program really nice utility um, I like it it's definitely boosted my FPS a lot like I get 90 constant now and which I guess that's the highest you can get and I guess it's not in your config you can't change your max FPS anymore but still that's pretty good so uh, yeah guys that's it thanks for watching uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me if you like this video. Uh, peace.